want to take a moment to give you a brief tour of some of the reel-to-reel -reel tape recorders I have here. All of these are battery powered or multiple power AC, DC battery, um, but a number of different types of tape recorders made by Lloyd's, Panasonic, Iowa, um, Hitachi. Um, here's a, the snowman that some of you have commented on. So there are a, a number of different um, quality levels and different types of tape recorders, some very tiny ones, some larger bulky models. And uh, we've done a video on just about every one of these. These are just a few of the about 75 different models that I have here in the shack. Today I want you to see the Lloyd's tape recorder. The Lloyd's is probably one of the prettiest tape recorders that I have in the collection. And I don't have a model number other than the sticker on the schematic, which we just saw, or we will see at the end of the video. But this is just a beautiful chrome. Even the spindles are chrome. And it's a beautifully made and beautifully designed little reel-to-reel -reel rim drive tape recorder. Even the plastic cover is in pristine condition, as you can see. Just take a look at the beautiful chrome. Even the base and battery cover are chrome and high polished and very few scratches. Just a gorgeous. And I really like the speaker grill there across the front. Okay, we've had the kind of the overview of the tape deck. And this 60s model Lloyd's runs at around seven and a half inch per second, roughly. Of course, uh, the speed changes as the reel fills up, it speeds up. So it starts out at slow, relatively speaking slow. And then it uh, speeds up as the tape fills up because it's pulling more tape through at the same uh, revolution. So. In any case, this, uh, this particular tape was recorded at a consistent 7.5 inch per second. So um, it'll start out a little slow, and it, when it gets to the very end of the tape, it's, it's, you can tell the pitch is quite a bit faster. So I've got the speed turned all the way up here, and then as it, it starts out just a tad slow, and then by the end of the tape, we would, tip, we would slow the speed down and uh, try to get the right pitch. So... Let's just listen to a little bit of Earl Nightingale um, on this series that they were recorded back in the 50s and they were trans somebody transferred these to reel to reel tapes probably in the 60s when these tape recorders were very popular. But I wanted you to hear a little bit of the audio on this tape recorder. I heard a very interesting story that I don't mind admitting intrigued me very much. It was about an island in the South Pacific and I believe it was called Rapa. According to the story, this beautiful Polynesian island had a couple of interesting differences from just about any other island in the world. So you can hear really good quality, speech quality. Um, so let's swap it out. I had recorded uh, a few minutes ago, recorded a few seconds of some Christmas music, Montavani, from an album that my wife bought me for Christmas, uh, LP. And it's 1964, so there again, it's still the same era uh, as this tape recorder. So let's listen to a little bit of music. Now, the quality, of course, won't be near as good on on reel to reel, especially rim dry. But let's just listen to it. So, there you have it, the Lloyd's model number unknown, probably manufactured by a Japanese company that actually started, I believe I said 1945, and is now, 
if it's the same company, now makes ball bearings. So um, come a long way from manufacturing tape recorders, generic tape recorders that companies would put their own labels on. Because obviously there's nothing in any of the archives that I can find that Lloyd's actually manufactured this. And I'll show you the schematic at the end of the video. You can see the schematic that was stuck inside here on the uh, frame uh, of the uh, chassis. So clearly it was made by a company in Japan back in the early 60s. Hope you enjoyed this tape.